What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, a whole myriad of things happened. We were able to rank up yet again. We turned in our request to Commander Kamado, who has now tasked us with heading out to the Alabaster Icelands to quell the final noble. And we are going to be doing that in due time, but for right now, we are basically just working on Pokedex entry stuffs. So I am right now kind of just hopping from area to area. We're going to basically be cycling back through all of the major areas once again, just trying to get random various things done, but only in select areas. I'm not going to go across the entire uh, map going and checking every single nook and cranny for things. We're, we're going to take a little bit more of a measured approach here, but uh, I will say that I am at least trying to catch myself a number of Pokemon as we go. So let's see if we can catch ourselves this Kadabra. And that thing ran away. You know what? Maybe I can defeat this thing. That would actually be pretty good. We can get it with uh, Genevieve here to continue working on tasks. I'm kind of trying to get myself some monies as well. Money and MP because I also need to get myself a link cable so that we can turn Genevieve into a Gengar, which would be, well, very, very ideal, obviously. Um, oh, that thing spotted me, so that thing is definitely gone. Okay, we got a Mr. Mime over here, which I don't think I've actually caught one of those. Maybe I can make this work. I like the light screen. That's hilarious. I've caught a Mime Jr., I'm pretty sure, but I don't think I've caught a Mr. Mime. But I'll catch another Mime Jr. just for good measure. Because why not? I've caught three of them now. But if only that thing could turn around. We also got some... Gas uh, Gastrodon's over there, which is cool. And actually, let me refer to the map really quickly. So, I've got one over by the Rapidash Outbreak and Horseshoe Plains, and then another one way over here. So, kind of on opposite ends of the map. Like I said, though, I'm not going to linger too long in some of those areas. There's actually two Mr. Mime. Hold on. Let me see if I can reposition here, because this one does not seem... In fact, it's very uh, apparent and aware of my presence here. Which is kind of obnoxious. Are you following me? You are. Maybe I can throw that in real quick while you're messing around. Oh, hey, I did. It worked. Cool. Take this king's leaf while I'm at it because I need it to pair with my citrus berries. Those are not citrus berries because they've got a little bit of a discoloration on top of them. You have that too. Catch another one. Cool. All right, well, that all worked out great. All right, let's keep going. Those are citrus berries. The pure yellow color. Most of them turn into orange berries, but you get a couple citrus berries for your trouble, which is good. So we'll take all of that. And if I... I don't see any other Mr. Mimes, unfortunately, so I won't be able to battle those. Oh, gosh dang it. Spot it again. Would not mind getting some more out of the Abras there. Let's take a look at Staravia really quickly. Okay, Staravia is maxed out, so I'm not going to work on that one too much. I think we're good. Let's keep going. Let's kind of move past all these. We're just going to basically look out for just extraordinary Pokemon we haven't run into a lot. Like, there's Kadabra again. Does that one notice me? It has not. So maybe I can get lucky. There we go. We actually caught that one. Now there's this Abra over here. Maybe we can catch that too. Oh, come on. There we go. We got two of those, so that's pretty good. Take that. We got more Luxios around here, which those I'm not as concerned with. I'm just going to run right past you as I grab myself some more goodies. Oh my goodness, there are so many things. Okay, that's the other thing too, is I need to look for a Will-O-Wisp in this particular area in the Windswept uh, Run. And I am going into the wrong menu. Uh, yeah, right in the Windswept Run at night. And since it's almost nighttime, it's kind of why I've been procrastinating around here. Was kind of waiting for it to become nighttime, which it's, it's almost there. But I think we do have enough time that we can make our way over to this really quickly and grab this satchel. I did not mean to hit that with a stamp because that does not actually tell me where I'm going. Uh, wait, stop it! Gosh, why is it defaulting to that? No, I want it to be the flag, please. Thank you. Okay. We're going to head on over there. Just kind of bypass everything. And go on towards the big tree. What's up, Buizel? We're supposed to catch a large Buizel, aren't we? I don't think we've still... I don't 
think we've done that still. So I need to keep an eye out. Maybe it'll actually count if I get one. That's another one caught. So that's good at least. I don't know if that counted as a big specimen or not. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll have to take a look. I know that's for one of the many, many requests that I have on hand. So we'll get that. Um, I'm also supposed to max out Krikatots. Am I not wrong about that? I think I am. And where am I at? No, I am maxed with Krikatots. So I probably just got to go turn that one in. Excuse me, Krikatoon. I'm just going to go right on past you. We're going to head up this way. Hello, Bidoof. And Bibarol. Pardon me. It's a good thing they're not super... They're not the brightest bunch. And then that is a very big Baneri. My goodness. I don't think I've really seen very many Alpha Baneris. I've seen Alpha Lopunnies plenty. But not, not the Baneris. That's interesting. Okay, so there's that one. And then while we're here, let's mark the other one over in Horseshoe Plains. So we can get back to it a little bit later. Because I don't want to linger in uh, this area too much longer. But I think if I can get like... 30-ish, uh, 30-ish or so tax, tasks reported in each area as we go to them. That would be ideal, if possible. In fact, speaking of Baneri, why don't we check it really quickly and see what we can get out of it. I know it's maxed, but we haven't actually defeated any. Okay, well, that would actually be a good thing to do. So if I can, where are you at? There you are. Let me see if I can sneak up on it and hit it from behind. I did not get it from behind, but I mean, it's, I should still be able to attack first anyway. Because I'm not too worried about this thing. Drain punch it. And we'll take out a few of these, if possible. That'll get us a couple of tasks done. Got an experience candy for our troubles. We'll fight this next one. I was not close enough. Come here, you. Sorry, little Baneri, but you are about to get your butt whooped by a shiny variant. Gosh, our Lopunny is so tiny. She's barely taller. Or, sorry, he's barely taller than this Baneri here. Keep wanting to say she. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but... <laughs> because it's freaking Lopunny, and it's, like, surprising that it... It's one of those few Pokemon where you're surprised it can even be male, but... Uh, Cascoon... Like, I don't know, I guess it's not as blatant as something like Jinx, but I've not actually f caught a Cascoon or even seen a Cascoon at all. That's interesting. Well, I'll take that. That'll be good to add. Did we, we caught that. Does that count for anything else, perhaps? Never caught at night. Okay, cool. And we also got Psyduck over here. And then I need to get back to Windswept Run pretty quickly, although nighttime does last quite a while. Number defeated with electric moves, heavy specimens, number defeated... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that too much. All right, screw it then. Let's go back. We can take a look at Bibberol here really quickly. Uh, this one is only level six. We did catch our one alpha specimen. Number defeated. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Come here, you. We're going to fight you. You are a very low level alpha as it is. Freaking, I believe, one of the lowest in the game. So let's just uh, take you out with a quick Leaf Blade here. And I should deal with the problem pretty quickly. All right, let's go look for that Will-O-The-Wisp out in um, Windswept Run. So I'm going to head on over this way. Is that another Bibberol? It is. Let's, let's fight you two. Just get it done. You are a tiny one. My goodness. Like, I know you're not an Alpha, but goodness, that is, like, really, really small. It's like the size of a small cat. All right. I'm going to head on over here. And as we go out this way, let's see if we can find this. So I don't know if we're technically... We are technically in the area for it. Okay. There's a drift... There's some drift loon stuff out here. I'm not seeing anything over this way. I don't think I've ever actually done this particular request. So I actually don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. I also heard the music. Was that a... Alpha Abra? Oh, it's an Alpha Star Ravia. Okay, well, I'm going to go out this way. I do see that there's this over here. And I don't know if this has got anything to do with it. Because it looks like... Yep, that's just its own thing. That's just a, another wisp to add to the pile. 
What's up, Apom? You're maxed out. I could defeat one more with a fighting type move, so why don't we do that really quickly? Just to kind of add to the pile. It's worth doing, and then we're going to look for this Will-O-Wisp thing. There we go. And also, I think I can get myself some uh, citrus berries from here, too. I think. Or is these hopo berries? I actually don't know. Those look like citrus. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Now, where is this thing? I don't know if Windswept Run uh, carries this entire area. It's a pretty large area, if I'm not mistaken. Also, I've apparently not technically looked at that right there up past aspiration hill that's actually interesting well we'll definitely climb that well i think it would behoove me to actually set the mission really quickly so let me do that actually really fast um wait hold on no freaking the sort hold on a second hold on a second goodness there you go okay mysterious will the wisp there we go and ah, ah, press the wrong button why does it keep unsorting them stop that Okay, there we go. So we need to... It's going to... Okay, that's right. It's going to take us right there. All right, well, that makes sense. So it is on this side. And we're supposed to try and... I know, I think we're supposed to catch something here. I'm using... Sne can I get up here without the use of Sneasler? I can. Well, uh, it's not worth it, though. Let's just walk up. It's a lot easier. Oh, but grabbing little ledges like that is kind of obnoxious. So what we're going to want to do is go up and we want to investigate this tree. And upon doing so, there's a Chimchar sitting up in the trees. And I know we already have one. In fact, I think we have a Monferno. So with this one, we're just going to give directly to the person who requested it of us. The music. Oh, my goodness. It, or the sound effects. It's like it's so dire. Oh, no. A whole Chimchar. Well... I think you're a low enough level that I can just straight up throw an Ultra Ball at you without even uh, delivering a hit. Because anything I throw at you is definitely going to kill you. So let's just hope that that works. And it did. Beautiful. Yeah, Ultra Balls are going to make life so much easier for me. My goodness. Especially for catching Pokemon in battle. Because obviously the other balls aren't really all that great for catching in battle. Oh, so we go back. Go back to Pirate? Para? Oh, no, never mind. Go back to Para and show her the Chimchar you caught. Well, where is she? I don't know if she's actually here or not. But what I'm going to do is I am going to go past all of these fellas and make my way down this way. Past the Drifloons and grab this pet. Well, I was going to grab that pep up plant along the way, but I apparently didn't hit the A button. No, I thought I did. There we go. Let's keep going down. Just past all of this nonsense. There's so many Pokemon out here. And we are going to head on over here. And you know, we could probably stand to investigate this outbreak a little bit. Maybe we could find something interesting over here. I mean, I doubt it, but it would be cool. Maybe one of these uh, Rapidash is actually something interesting. Also, there is another... Oh, my goodness. Look at all of those. There's so many of them. My goodness. Well, you know, it would actually be nice if we did this and just started going crazy trying to catch as many of them as, as, as we can. Come on. There we go. Just throw all of the wing balls. We got some really small ones, too. Didn't get all of them, but pretty close. And I think the rest of them are aware of us. So we'll just see how many we can catch. And then the rest, I will try to get into a fight here. Ah! I can't believe that freaking caught up to me. That was not very nice. Well, let's try to get that one over there. Come on, I can catch it. There we go. All right, the rest of you, you guys, it can all deal with... Ah! Crap. Uh, this... There we go. Let's get all of you into this fight here. All four. My goodness. This is going to be fun. Okay, so let's uh, go with a Agile-style Aqua Tail to start things off. And thanks to the rain, this should help us out a bunch because it's also going to suppress their fire attacks. So we'll take that. Move Roddy up the way a little bit, although Hypnosis is not very nice. But if I can defeat all these, that will be really good for Pokedex completion. Fire Blast! 
Ow, but also not really because it wasn't actually all that bad. Come on, Roddy. You can break through it. Don't be drowsy. Thank you. Okay, there goes another one. Beautiful. Just keep using those agile styles. Now we got double edge. That's going to hurt a bit. And then what do you what do you got to throw at it? Fire blast again. Okay, Roddy, hang in there. I am actually going to heal you this time. I need to start making some max potions with all my citrus berries and king's leaves. So do that. Flame wheel. That's going to do even less than fire blast. And then another hypnosis, and that one did not land. Thank goodness. All right, let's try another. Yeah, let's try another Agile style Aqua Tail. Perfect. All right, one left. Good job, Roddy. We pretty much caught we caught six of them, and then we're uh, uh, d basically just defeating all the rest, which works out great in my favor. Please don't miss. No! Oh, that's what I didn't want. No! Son of a gun. Okay, well, hold on. I am going to revive Roddy because I still want him to get all the experience for this. But we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can mud bomb. Although, it's you're going to be a lot more susceptible to a fire blast than Roddy will be. Like, it's still going to be reduced, but it's still going to hurt. Flame wheel. Okay. There we go. Thank goodness for the rain. And, of course, the burn because that, you know, has to also happen. Let's just use a strong style mud bomb and that should that should deal with the problem. Beautiful. All right. I think that's enough for the Cobalt Coastlands now. Or Cobalt Co Frickin' ugh, Obsidian Fieldlands. I always mix my names up. Goodness. That should be enough for the Obsidian Fieldlands. We got ourselves a Wisp. We got some of these chunks. That's pretty good. How did I do? That actually gave me quite a bit on Rapidash, didn't it? Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Wow. That basically uh, totally maxed out all on its own. That was absolutely worth doing. One of the other many benefits of Outbreaks, if I can be so frank. All right, let's get some more MP. So now we have ones to get in the Crimson Mirelands. There's a ton in... Oh, there's actually a ton in Alabaster as well. Um, I think the Crimson Mirelands will not be quite enough to push us over 1,000, but it's going to be really dang close. And then we can get that link cable finally. But I think that's enough for this area. Let's head on over to the Crimson Mirelands next after we talk to Laventon. And I'm also going to, uh, well, I don't need to rest up because technically going back counts as resting up, so we should be fine. Um, though, I should probably actually check this area that we haven't explored really briefly. I don't think there's much to it, so let's do that super fast. Um, it is technically, am I actually in it? I'm, I'm basically in it. Okay, so the area that I haven't explored is this down here. Which, I mean, I should have by all rights because it's not like it's completely sectioned off or anything. It's just where the fuck a bunch of freaking wormhole are. It's it's not a huge deal. This wasn't even like an area I should have missed the first time. It's just by the nature of quadrants and the like, I apparently missed it. But, oh well. Also, that, in, that rock just appeared and it was very terrifying. Now then, let's head back. Mark that off the map. Now it's all nice and cleanly done. So we can talk to Laventon and head back, and we can turn in a few of our requests now that we've all is said and done. Quite a few, in fact. And hopefully I can get some good money out of this, too. 19 Pokemon caught. About a third of those were just Rapidash. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So, what do you got for me as far as points? Not bad. Honestly, just two of those, and we'll have that rank up, which we should be able to get relatively easy in the Crimson Mirelands and the Cobalt Coastlands, as well as the Corona Highlands. Okay, so first things first, let's go back to the girl and talk to her, and then we'll talk to Taohua. So you, we can show her the Magikarp thing all done. Is Magikarp's page filled in yet? Tell me, tell me. It is. I know all about Magikarp now. I'm a Magikarp professor. Now it's my turn to tell you something. Sanqua told me a secret. Sanqua said she made those Magikarp statues, but she really want what she said she really wanted to make Gyarados statues instead. She said that Gyarados is super strong and cool and can even fly, and that Magikarp can become Gyarados. You'll learn more about Gyarados too, right? Please. We sure will, and we get a rare candy for our efforts, which in this game rare candies really aren't all that great. But hey, we'll take it still. A level's a level. 
Never, never, you whelp. Uh-oh. That's not good. What's up, Choi? I asked Tao Hua to simpl uh, supply me with more, some more goods. We won't do business. What else do you have this time? Sand radishes. So can you guess where we get these sand radishes at? Well, <laughs> I bet you'd be surprised to learn that it's in Alabaster Icelands. I know. It's crazy, right? Yep, you have to basically go to each area to get everything. Okay, let's uh, give that chimchar to her. Certain that I, what I saw was a will-o'-the-wisp, you know. Should I look at this Pokemon at night? Okay, if you say so. Oh, I have to give it to you at night. Okay, well, fine then. <sighs> I guess I'll have to wait for that. Let me see if I can give the Buizel to this guy. And then we'll kind of go down the list of our other requests. And maybe we'll be good. What's up, dude? Brought me a bigger Buizel. Is this one going to count? Let's see. Let's try it. I'm expecting... Oh, nope. Still not big enough. It's got to be 2-8. Gosh, freaking dang it. Well, we can at least go over here. We got another request as well as... Our farm, I think, is done too. So we can start our next set of crops. I'm telling you, Burmy is the Pokemon with a cloak made of leaves. No, no. Burmy cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. If it ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. This conversation is getting us nowhere. But are you both sure you've actually seen a Burmy before? It wasn't some other Pokemon. We might ask you the same thing. Seen Burmy here in Hisui, and I've seen him back in my own region, too. And guess what? They're all covered in trash. Oh, my. You must have gotten confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you. We're just repeating the same arguments over and over. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We could figure this out if, uh, right pretty quick if you brought us some actual Burmy. I mean, I'm pretty sure I do, but I need to get one of each, right? Uh, what Burmy do? Do I have any Burmy? I have one of them. Let's take this one. No, that's not for you. I need... This one's for Tarush, I believe. Which, ha, get it? Tarush? Trash? Or, no, no, you're not the one I'm thinking of. Is it Duna? Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Okay, here you go. You want this one, the mineral one. Sorry, I couldn't really tell from the picture. Take a look at both of you. This little one is the real Burmy. I guess it's pretty similar, but there's no way this is a Burmy. Ah, where's its trash at, huh? Honestly, can someone still be in doubt after seeing a real Burmy right up close? I suppose we need to compare it to the false Burmy to prove the point. Can you carry on until you've brought both of the Burmy lookalikes these two spoke of, my dear? Okay, so we just need the the other two cloaks, but let's talk to this guy. Great timing, we're done gathering the harvest. Crops turned out real nice, just as planned. Give me my stuff. What did I got? Hasty mint. Cool. Sassy mint. All right. Impish mint. And that's it. Okay. Um, I think you'll do another mint harvest for me. Oh, that's so expensive, though. Um, apricorn harvest is only 500. Yeah, just do that in the meantime. I really need to save my money. You know what? Uh, I might actually be able to use one of those mints, though. On, I need to use it on Darko, because Darko has a lowered attack at the moment, and I don't want that. I think we'll go with... Well... Yeah, I think we'll go with Impish for the time, just for the time being. So let's do that. And that should make their moves, or not their, I didn't mean to go on moves. That should make their stats more powerful. Let's see. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm okay with attack going down, increased defense, or special attack going down, excuse me. So that's actually pretty good. We'll take that. Uh, is there anyone else with really problematic nature? Uh, you are lower defense and increased speed. I don't really like that. I would like some. I would like increased speed and lowered attack, but I suppose it's doable for now. That one's okay, but I would rather obviously have like an adamant nature. Roddy doesn't have any nature, which you know I'm gonna need more mints for that. And then Viola doesn't have any nature, and Hubert has almost a perfect nature. I mean, if it was lowered attack, it'd be better, but lowered defense doesn't really matter because Hubert's defenses already really suck as it is. So, we'll take all that. Now, um, I do want it to become nighttime, which I can do that, but let's see. There was another request I wanted to turn in. Uh, gosh dang it, why does it keep sorting them weird? Where is the Krikatot one? Do I have to go? No, it's right over here. Okay, and then we'll go talk to the Bidoof lady really fast and see what that's all about. Oh, no. Do I have to go? Oh, they're out in the field. Son of a gun. Well, maybe I can at least talk to you, Samugi. Here you've got three different species of Pokemon in trials. So I mean feet. I have a job that's a perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. 
Ah, it's those pesky Bidoof again. But they're so cute. What do you mean, pesky? Look away for one second, the little scoundrels waltz, waltz right into the village. This is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the survey, uh, security corps. How can I face Captain Zisu like this? Now get a hold of yourself, Samugi. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I can think I can handle on my own. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that these particular pests get easily distracted if other Bidoof are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize their chance to catch the little troublemakers. Perfect plan. If you combine forces, we'll get three ca all three caught in no time at all. Well, um, I mean, I need so I need to go pull one out. And then we're going to have to go find them. So just a moment really quickly. And I know I have one somewhere. There you are. We'll take you, and I'm actually going to move on over into this pasture just so that I can swap out. I'll swap out Hubert for a moment. Then we can start catching all these little guys. So, let's go looking for some Bidoof. Why, why don't we? I believe we actually get like an okay reward for this. Do I actually need to talk to you first, though? I don't know if I have to do that. Let me actually reactivate the quest and i again why would it keep doing that stop it okay let's talk okay we need to find out where each of those pesky battle bidoof wandered off to okay i have my bidoof with me so now we need to go find them so let's go start looking in some hiding places uh-oh what we got over here it's eight in the wood what's up little guy Aww. I like why you don't even have to do the honors of catching it. So there's one. All right, let's keep looking around on that side. But maybe we're going to have to go around into the village proper. I don't think it's going to be back here. I mean, it's worth a shot. But I don't think I'm going to mess with around here too much. How about back in this direction? You would think they would be where, you know, you'd find like wood and such. Also, there's a wisp back here. So might as well grab that. Still so many left to get. Five in this particular area. Which isn't too bad. Let's see. How about over this way? I really wish I could be using, uh, using my weird ear right now, but unfortunately that's not the case. We'll keep growing what you're growing, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move down this way. There it is. I see you. What's up, little guy? I didn't even see the other one before we caught it. I hope they do like the little nod too, and then jaha! Ambushed! You piece of crap. Alright. One more. Probably on the other side of the village, so we'll go look for that. I don't think it's gonna be super out in broad daylight. I mean, maybe. Who knows? I mean, this is a very early quest, so it's very possible they're in a actually pretty obviously easily easy suspecting place, like not a place that, oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the hiding's actually pretty good. I actually can't remember exactly where the last one's at off the top of my head. It might be back here now that I think about it. Hold on. Is it back here? Oh my goodness, the draw distance totally threw me off. I did not see it at all until I got until I got really freaking close. There you are. That's probably the one thing. Like, for all of the things with Legends Arceus, it's visuals having issues and stuff like that. I just wish the draw distance was better. That's probably my biggest problem. I really wish they would solve that one particular issue. Like, I wouldn't mind the game looking ugly, at least if I could still see it a really far distance, but eh, whatever. Nice work. That puts the little trouble troublemakers safely in our custody. Now to give them the old heave ho. Hold on. Be ashamed to just send those Bidoof back into the wild. No, my construction corps could find a use for them. Huh? You want to keep them? But these Nautily Nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corps. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How they're supposed to know our village is a strict no-chewing zone. Shows good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork too. But if they're going to stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth gnash through trees and rocks. Just what our core needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know? Aww. Just what I wanted to hear. Hmm, <laughs> not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work, but if Sink was watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out all right. 
So I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. And there we go. Bothersome Badoof is complete. And we got ourselves another request done. All right, guys. That is going to be it for this episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you all so very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to head out to the Crimson Mire Lands and take care of a couple more things there. There's one more request I specifically want to fill, though, while we are still here. Uh, this one involves showing the male and female Hippopotas, uh, if possible, to the Clothier so that we can actually unlock some more clothing styles. So we're going to be doing that at the start of the next episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.